You just tuned in to the Heel in the Face live wrestling show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And you can also catch us on Twitter at Heel and Face. And also shut you can up. Pull- just shut up. Are you kidding? Nobody came to hear you and you curb your dog while you're at it. Oh, and man. I can't make me a sandwich, Mrs. Abernathy. Are you okay, really? Do you need anything to drink? Tough Jim Steele, come here and get let out of and take us out to the show. I guess here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heal the Face Radio Show. Now, get ready to get kicked square on the ball. <laughs> And we're back another week, ladies and gentlemen. How is it going there, Sean? What's up, man? What's up, brother? We got more technical difficulties. Yeah, we do. But that's what happens when you're a year in the show. Yep, definitely, brother. But uh, let me tell you something. It's one year. Almost. Well. August is our birthday. What do you think this is? September? No, it's August. Okay, then. Lucky you. Yeah, lucky me. I got to be with you for a year, man. But uh, Hopefully like six or seven more. Yeah. One definitely. year for each fan. Uh, yeah, those six or seven. Don't forget about, uh, what's her name? You know, uh, Octane's favorite number one fan there. Man. Mrs. Abernathy? Yeah. But, uh, well, you have... Well, actually, you talked to me earlier about a surprise that we Actually, got. we got a ton of stuff to no? worry about. But let's get to Mr. Warner first. He's sitting right here what? ready to go. Okay. All right, go it's ahead, It's about man. time. We need yeah. some more games updates. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, definitely. Jerry's wrecking the studio, man. Yeah, you guys almost lost the microphone. Another one? Oh, boy. Let me turn you up there, Jerry. There you go. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. All right, guys. Uh, we'll stop killing the studio. So, yeah, we have a ton of war game stuff to go over tonight. I mean, I don't know really where we want to start. I know we have Chris Caden calling in in a bit. You guys want to start there? Um, Actually, let's, y- you let's, know what? let's get to that. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll get to we'll the other stuff, off. take okay. a short break, and then we'll call yeah, Chris Caden in. And then we'll let the madness proceed from there. Okay. Yeah, we'll right. see. <laughs> That's going to be fun. All right, guys. So I guess the first thing we'll talk about tonight is uh, Lexa Rose and Nightmare and as far as what's going on with that matchup. Now, uh, I think last we talked, Lexa was going in to get some tests to see if she would be medically cleared to wrestle. Um, Unfortunately, Lexa will not be able to compete at War Games. Uh, And why not? Doctors won't clear her. I can't put her in the ring. But we do have a compromise. Um, Nightmare, as you guys know, is refusing to wear the dress. Lexa beat him fair and square, and he should be in that dress. So what me and Tommy decided to do was we let Lexa pick a representative, and we're going to do a double-or-nothing matchup at War Games. And what that's going to mean is if Lexa's representative wins, Nightmare has to wear the dress, and as an added bonus, Lexa will be able to do makeup of any kind, any of her choice, on Nightmare. But, of course, if Nightmare wins, he's out of the dress, and the Nightmare that has become his life is over. Hmm. You mean if Lexa Rose wants to paint a big smiley face and lipstick... On Nightmare's face, that's perfectly allowed? Anything she wants to do. Make him look like a clown? If he, she wants to make him look like a clown, she can make him look like Bozo. You know? Uh, what? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, well, I, if, if her representative wins. And we're going to find out who that is live at War Games. Okay? So it's going to be Nightmare versus Lexa Rose's mystery representative. Makeup versus dress. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I think that'll be interesting. I can hear the green room buzzing about it. Yeah, I would say so, especially to see uh, Nightmare makeup would be interesting. I, I see a few surprises in the green room, too, but we'll get to that later. More, more, more SWA news, please. Is that Chris Benoit? Stop begging. <laughs> you sound like the dog on the side of the road. Well, you guys know we, uh, we introduced that poll to try to figure out who is that fourth cage match. And right now we've had over 500 votes. And we're going to keep the voting open until August uh, 16th. And uh, I just wanted to update you guys on what those matches were. What are your choices? Because you, the fans, get to pick what match will be inside that steel cage. All right, Sean, you ready? I'm all set. All right, we have your hero, Mike Magnum, taking on Long Island's finest cash. That is your first option. Hmm. We have in tag team action, Los Sucios versus the New Yorkans. Hmm. We have... In singles action, Heavenly Hatch Stevens versus Steve your the buddy. Turtle Whiner. Yes, yeah. Are you're, you kidding? Your buddy. Wait, 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 wait. You're actually going. You actually put that up on a poll. 
everything real. everything's up for an option. Uh, Come the only on, Jerry. exclusion will be that Lexa Rose match. Come on, now, really? Well, you're not gonna like this. Then uh, we got two more people who are very close to getting on that probation, that suspension we keep talking about. You have the Graveyard Disciples, and they're gonna take on the Undead Army at War Games on October 17th, uh, August 17th. Nobody show in October. Uh, there'll be nobody there. Um, then we have option number five. We have totally radical Stephen Persons taking on Casey Koresh with Big Papa Kanush by his side. And the last option, tag team action, the celebrity MC3 and Riley Daniels versus the Middle Country Punks, J-Fabs, and CJG. Those are your choices, guys. Head on over to the Suffolk Wrestling Alliance Facebook, find the poll, and cast your vote. We're going to find out live August 17th what that fourth cage match is going to be. GYD, ladies and gentlemen, versus Undead, definitely. Yeah, it's a hell of a match. Yeah, I don't know about uh, Hatch Stevens versus a Turtle Boy, yeah. honestly. I voted for that match. I bet you did. Well, who's going to climb the cage in that match? That's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, it ain't going to be the Ninja Turtle and Stevens. I, I just figured since you, you, you got to like throw a pie on the other side of the cage. I just figured cage. that you'd, I, I did it for you. Yeah, okay. so I figured you'd have fun with it. Yeah. I figured with all that oil all over Hatch, there's no He'll way he's going to slip and slide, there. man. He'll Maybe he's going to slide right under the cage. Like a, like a rat, he can suck his rib cage in and slide under doorways. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. But I don't know, man. <laughs> we have six great options for you guys. Uh, what I voted for doesn't matter. We know Sean voted for uh, Hatch and Turtle. So get your votes in, make your voice heard. Let's pick that fourth cage match. You guys control where we go with this. Oh, Lord. But, of course, we already have three great cage matches already announced. Yes, we do, man. We have, of course, the pride title, CJ Antonino, the great Bambino, taking on the chair-swinging freak, ECW legend, Balls Mahoney, for that Pride Championship. Uh, we have Ooh. Jack Gallo, the protector of professional wrestling, rematching Braden Knight inside the steel cage. And then we have the House of Violence, Beard Life and the hardcore icon, Necro Butcher, take on Damage Inc., America's Most Wanted, Jay Lover. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Hollywood Jay Lover. I was going to say, no, it's Hollywood. Hollywood Jay Lover, Frankie Stars, and, of course, Justin Toxic. Three psychotic cage matches. Uh, hmm. Wow. Yeah. My favorite out of that one would be, uh, I don't know, I, I, that's a tough one, man. That That's some great matches. It's different flavors. Yeah, I it, mean, it really is, man. If you want that pure technical match, you look at Braden and Jack Gallo. If you want to see some blood, I think you have to be looking at the House of Violence. I mean, it's filled with weapons. It's like Everybody a brings one. Yeah, but you can't forget about Bulls, Mahoney, and CJ. And that should be our Rocky Balboa match, our epic match right there. This is a huge test for CJ Antonino. This is the highest quality opponent he's ever wrestled. No, nothing against Ricky Richards, nothing against Chris Caden, but Bulls, Mahoney, you know, that's a high-profiled wrestler, and uh, Bulls has a chance to come in right now, win the Pride title, and completely change everything. Wow. The belt oh, around no. balls is waist. SWA is different forever from that point on. So Different? Let me tell you. Big time. Yeah. Big time, bro. And it's a <laughs> risk. It's a risk, and Bambino yeah. wanted it. So credit to the champion. He's going to go out there and go for it. Oh, man. I don't know, but uh, what's your pick out of what match that you like out of those three top? Out of the matches? cage matches, the yeah. one that I'm most looking forward to is the House of Violence match. I think I am too, you know, because uh, to tell you the truth, everything else, you know, it's there. That's it. It's there. The House of Violence match, come on, Necro Butcher in a cage. You might as well give him a machete. <laughs> in a perfect world where Junior Reyes and Necro Butcher didn't exist, I would go in saying this is going to be the most violent match in SWA history, but let's hope for the sake of everyone in the arena, it's not more violent than the last Necro Butcher and Junior Reyes match. But it's going to be a crazy match, guys. You have some of the best wrestlers, the best tag teams inside that cage, and we're going to get to hopefully solve this damaging Beard Life Necro Butcher thing once and for all. Uh, tickets on sale now, guys. You get them right here on the Heel in the Face Live Wrestling Show. You can head on over to our Facebook, uh, Suffolk Wrestling Alliance Tickets. Uh, get them yep. now. Front yep. row are getting scarce, guys. And don't forget, even Ticket Outlet Omega Storage in uh, Amityville, 185 Sunrise Highway. Come on down. We're open from 9 to 5. You can pick up tickets also. Yeah, I heard Junior Reyes has been selling tickets out of his storage unit. Yeah, if anybody well, wants to Junior, go in there. Yeah. Well, Junior was the one that, uh, you know. Got the hook up over there and everything because he's a little weird, as you people know that he did that 
promo. Yeah, why does he need a storage? I don't unit? understand why he, he does. There's nothing in it. He said he had his toys in it. I, I, I think his toys are in his head. Yes. I think he had a best friend growing up named I Harry the Hippo, and he's still there. And he's just, It's Harry the Hippo, him and Damage Inc. And what, what no, should I do, I, Harry? I, I think Necro hit him with so much stuff, they became toys. That's true. He did, he did bounce him <laughs> like a basketball. <laughs> well, thank God we put a stop to that uh, for uh, the sake of every single human being on Long Island. That's great. He sits in his storage unit and talks to the ghost of his teddy bear. Yeah. You yeah. know, I walked past it the other day. I heard thumping, and I opened it, and... There was nothing there, not even him. We've talked about instating psychological evaluations, but, you know, realistically, we're not going to have Necro Butcher anymore. <laughs> we're not going to have Junior Reyes, and we're not going to have the Graveyard Disciples. And, I mean, depending on what Chris Sa Caden says tonight on the air, I don't know if he'd pass the psychological evaluation himself. Uh, you never know. Uh, me and Tommy have uh, some very important things to talk to Mr. Caden about tonight, <coughs> and uh, I don't know how happy he's going to be with these decisions, but done what we have to do. We do what we have to do. Mm, definitely. I don't are, we, are, we good on war, are we good on War Games News except for that? What'd you say? Uh, are we good on War Games News except for that? Yeah, as of now, matches are set. Tickets are on sale. Front rows are uh, getting smaller. Uh, Chris Caden will not be there. And I have one other announcement. And this is something that some people may know, some people might not know. Uh, the 1% of professional wrestling, Ricky Richards, will not be at War Games. Uh, tonight or tomorrow night, Ricky Richards will be issuing a statement on the Suffolk Wrestling Alliance page as to why. Uh, me and Tommy already went over this. We're not going to talk about that right now. We'll let Mr. Richards fill you in. But once again, it's, uh, it's a domino effect. And it all ties back to Chris Caden. Maybe we should invite, because next week is the big... War game big show. Big war game show. The ch I hear the champ's going to be here. Great Bambino is coming down yeah. live in the studio. Maybe we should have Mr. Richards down here, too. Mm, that would be interesting. Yeah. We'll have uh, one of our people call his people because he actually has people. He has a very wealthy man. Come on. He's the one percenter of professional wrestling. Are you kidding? And we'll see if we can get Mr. Richards down here. Well, I, I, I don't know, but we'll see if he has the time. We'll find out. We'll get him down here. But that's it. After this, everything is set, guys. Uh, and uh, come down early, you know, because as uh, well, we, we, we talk about that yet, Sean? You're a very special surprise. You want to save that for a little later? No, we'll save that for a little later. Okay. Let's, uh, let's yeah. cut to a break, and then you guys can address the Chris Caden We'll go powder our situation. noses, and uh, we'll get Chris Caden all set up. <laughs> no problem. On satellite. <laughs> <laughs> Not that type of powder. Hold on, it'll take us out. <laughs> Just for that. 
And we're back. Welcome to the Heal in the Face live wrestling show. Don't forget to listen to us on iTunes or Stitcher or if you're listening to us right now. But on the phone right now to confront SWA management, the Chris Caden. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what's what's yeah, going yeah, on, man? What's going on? Yeah, what do you what do you what do you have to call in? What what's what's the issue? Go ahead. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not liking the tone of your voice right about now. You know, I'm I'm giving minutes out of my life because clearly, you know, SWA doesn't want anything to do with me. So I'm giving minutes out of my life to say something, and you're going to give me this attitude. Well, it's not the attitude. It's you know. You're on a suspension. If I was you, I would be trying to figure out why you're on a suspension and try to figure oh, out how brother, to straighten it out. I know why. I know why I'm on suspension, you know? I know why. It's not, it's not a question as to why I'm on suspension. It's, just, it's, it's more of a question of why does the truth bother certain people? Well, Chris, why, why, why do you believe you're on suspension first? Let's cover that. Probably, let's, let's be honest. I don't know when to just probably stop speaking. Problem is, I speak truth. I speak honest, 100% grade A truth. I've never said a lie, and people just don't like it. So, you know, when I say it, people take offense to that, certain management, and, uh, yeah, especially the director of authority. Oh, yeah, definitely, man, but, uh, you know... Well, Chris, if you were in, if, if, if you changed places, let's say, and you were in Tommy C's position, and you had a wrestler uh, scheduled to wrestle a match, it was advertised, and then that wrestler tells you he is not showing up to the event in, in, a, in a form of protest, what, what, how would you handle the situation differently? Well, I would actually ask him why, you know, not just throw out suspensions. I would try to get down to the nitty gritty. I would try to find out what's the deal, not just, well, I don't want you on this show. Well, I don't give out the suspensions like, you know, you would give oh, out a you, couple you know of dollars. What? I'm tired of the lies. Yeah. I'm tired of, you know what? This you know is what, what we're are. talking you about. You know what you are? My friend, you are a mark for yourself. And you know what? There is no place for you in the promotion, in, in this business. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's the fact of the matter. Yeah. You know what? That's the fact of it. You know what really, really pisses me off? The fact that I've busted my ass for almost more than a year, probably a little over a year now. And I was undefeated for a year. I busted my ass for SWA. SWA wasn't even on the godforsaken map. We were doing shows, dark matches. We were doing dark shows. We were, we were really busting our ass. Every goddamn person in the locker room was busting their ass to put on a show. Not even maybe for like five, six, seven. And then the crowd started getting bigger. And then we made the pre-show. And we started pushing the pre-show. And I was continuing busting my ass, trying to be that top guy, trying to be the man oh, in SWA. Isn't this I what we're everything. talking about, Jerry? Jesus Christ, I this... even wrestled in like a six-way match with a dislocated friggin' shoulder, and I won the match. Tommy, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait for it. The doctor clears CJ Antonino. The doc says, well, CJ's good to go now. He's good to wrestle. And everything I did for about a year went out the godforsaken window. Who was Caden? No, no, no. It's CJ's all guy. Chris Caden, who? I was like a second thought. Nobody realized me. And then when I go out there for matches, I'm getting turned on by the fans. The fans are now chanting for this guy who's clearly working with, uh, what's that troll's name? The guy that gets beat up by Necro Butch every godforsaken time. I'm, all, I'm on that event. Uh, Junior Reyes? <laughs> yeah, Junior Reyes, whatever the See, hell. that's whatever, why whatever you get call. suspended. Man is what I call him. You know, that's, that's, that's why. That's pretty much what pisses me off. And then you got management who's like, you should be in this match, you should be in this match, you should be in... Hey, how about you do something right and you book a company the way it's supposed to be booked? Simple as that. Well, Chris, I mean, I, com uh, I completely agree <laughs> with what you were saying. You know, you were here for the entire time. You did help build this company. But I think that you're... You're looking at it the wrong way. You know, it wasn't necessarily Bambino came, coming off the surgery and Chris Caden being pushed aside. It was Bambino coming off the surgery and making uh, some waves for himself. 
I mean, there was a tournament, you know. No, Megan Waits for what did he do? What did, what the hell did Come he on. do? For while I was busting my ass, where was he in a hospital bed? Where was he in his own bed watching some sort of television program? What what was no, he doing? CJ. He won a match while I was undefeated. Well, he won one match. Well, listen. Why don't you sit back in your in your chair and think about it? You know, CJ beats you for the belt. With a, uh, a chokehold that's been yet to be cleared by the uh, sanction. Uh, the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission, Chris, is uh, a choke, it's an airway choke is illegal, but a blood choke is legal in uh, professional wrestling. And the mm. rear naked choke is a blood choke. Uh, I, I really, I'm pretty sure you need oh, to God. look at the rules again. But nevertheless, whatever, <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, well, let's see, what else happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. Then the second time I faced CJ in a triple threat bout, I, uh, what was it? I get something sprayed in my face, and the ref allows the chokehold to be locked on yet again. And again, I'm screwed out of a match. Is it a lie? No. Screwed. But I think mm -hmm. Tommy C just didn't want Chris Caden to have another shot because I called him out for being a suck ass like he is. He said suck ass. Yeah, see that ass. see that see right there. That is the reason for your that whole is, suspension. Well, you can't take criticism. You no, suck it's not at what you do. That's your it. criticism is fine. Get it through your head. You suck. Uh, I, yeah. Your criticism is fine, but let me tell you, that's how you turn around and get suspended with no pay. How do you like yeah, that? Because it's true. Because the truth. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Truth hurts. You Chris. suck at your Dog. Chris, I, everyone knows it. We, everyone we, in the locker room is not a. You see, the problem with SWA is you got guys that agree with me in the back. You don't know what the hell you're doing. They just don't have the balls to say it. Whereas I, well, now that I'm suspended and you can't do anything to me, guess what? You suck. Well, we could extend the the uh, suspension, but I wouldn't want to do, do that. that. You need to do. Oh, everybody, everybody, calm, everybody, calm, calm. Everybody, s slow your roll here, everybody. There's not going to be a suspension getting any longer. Chris Caden, you know, we invited him here to, to you guys invited him here so he could say what he had to say. And you know, Chris, you're already serving the time for your for insubordination and your protest, so we're not going to add to it. But Chris. You have to you have to look at this rationally. You know, uh, it, it's not everyone's out to get you. It was a series of circumstances. You know, you lost that match against the Great Bambino, and I can completely understand after being undefeated for that long, after putting that record behind you, having that much pressure on you. I can understand why you're looking for excuses, but what it comes down to is you lost. I mean, you both were coming off shoulder injuries. You both were recovered. You went into that match fair and square, and, and you lost. You know, and you're trying to put blame at Tommy. You can't blame Tommy for reacting. He is the director of authority. If he does not direct his authority, then what is his purpose? So when he's you come, director of authority, the director of something, especially not authority. He don't know what the hell he's doing. Let's be honest. You put a pig in a job that has no idea what he's doing. He should be working at Dunkin' Donuts eating donuts. That's what he should be doing. He's good at that. Put him mm, in that. Yummy. All right. Well. Needless to say. He wouldn't be good working at a Dunkin' Donuts. What would, Donuts. what would they sell? Nothing. They'd be out of stock. So there is bad then bad he bad. wouldn't be a good Dunkin' Donuts employee. All right, let's leave our director of authority. Uh, let's, well, Chris. For real, come on. I guess then, while you're here, we'll get to the news that, uh, you know, it's another, it's not, you're going to take this as me and Tommy directly going after you, but it's not. This is news that just happens to affect you. It's completely coincidental, just like the uh, CJ winning, the you and Ricky, the water, the ref not seeing it. Everything is coincidental. So please take this with a grain of salt, okay? Um, myself and Tommy, we sat down and we decided that we need to keep the top five rankings as updated as possible so we continue to produce contenders and we can continue to move on. Right now, you, for example, are serving a two-show suspension. We have other wrestlers who are out on injuries, and we can't allow the top five rankings to stall based on injuries and suspensions. So from this point on, any injured wrestler or suspended wrestler will be ruled ineligible for the SWA top five rankings, which means Chris Caden has been removed from the top five rankings. What? 
I'm not supposed to be taking this as a shot to myself. You're kidding me, right? You're I, kidding me. You probably I, dug this off yourself. I can understand like, how it seems, Chris. another way we can screw this guy out of triggering a nope. position now. First Come on now. Deal with it. Job, and now we're going to screw him out of a position in the company. That's great. I, it's, I completely it. understand why you would take it that way, Tommy. I, I know. I understand, man. That's how we had it, and that's how it's going to be. You don't like it too bad. Deal with it. You have to earn to get that number one again. Earn it. And, Chris, I mean... Chris, if you had shown up at War Games and you had done your match and you had been victorious, you have to realize that you were sitting in the number two spot. You would have walked into the next show as the number one ranked guy. You had that on your plate, but this protest got in the way and the suspension got in the way, and it's just the dominoes fell in your direction, Chris. I hope you can yeah. see your way to not take this personally. No, I can, I'm not. I, of course, I'm going to take it personally. You guys are just aiming at what can you do to Chris Hayden? Oh, oh, he's he saying he can't do this match because it doesn't make sense. Oh. Really? So now you're going to take me out of the position that I busted my ass for? This is how you treat one of your guys? This is how you treat the guy that's been busting his ass for a year and a half to put your doctor saving company on the map? Now you're going to say, you know what? We're taking you out of your place. Are you kidding me? You're a professional you athlete, me? Chris. You're this paid you to go in the ring and do a job. Ass. This is the match that was assigned. We can't. If we let everyone pick and choose what they're doing, this becomes a, a, a where, big issue where they step all over us. Yeah, this is this. That's what it is. This democracy deteriorates into complete anarchy. And uh, Chris, uh, what can I say? I'm not sorry. This is what we had to do. I hope you can uh, find a way to see that. I guess I'll update everybody on the top five while we have Chris on the phone. Might as well let him. Have uh, a taste still of in number one spot, the one percent of professional wrestling, Ricky Richards, meaning he is number one contender. Uh, in the number two spot now, Justin Toxic. In the number three spot, we have Necro Butcher. In the number four spot, we have Braden Knight. And returning to the top five rankings, we have Jack, Jack Gallo, Gallo man. which makes him and Braden the first ever top five versus top five match in SWA history inside a steel cage. Okay, and we're not being mean to you, not trying to disrespect and Chris, you. when you come back, at, uh, probably next year, uh, we're going to make sure to get you in that ring and you, you can have a chance, just like everybody else, a fair shot to get back in those top five rankings. Yeah. What do you got to yeah, say? Right. I can't, I can't believe that you took him out of the top five rankings. And, and then you announced the top five rankings while he's on the phone. It, it's a big coincidence. Right, well, That's you know, like I rubbing know, salt into his wounds. You see what they're doing, right? <laughs> and and then, you, then you expect me to just sit back and not say anything? Well, if you don't want more of a suspension, more you, you just sit back and take it. And get back in. I'm supposed to sit back and take something that you hand me? Shut up, fat boy. Chris. Well, if that's the way it's going to be, then it would be. I have to do everything that you say. I'm sick and tired of this. Chris, you chose not to show up to War Games, and you made us make the choice to make sure that you do not show up to our next event on November 2nd. You are banned from the building, so please just... Take it upon yourself to sit home that night, wait it out. You're only two shows away from being back. Be patient, Mr. Caden. You know what? You know what? Who says I want to come back? Who even says I want to do anything for this car? You guys are taking everything away from me. I'm busting my ass for a year and a half just to prove that I'm somebody. Then you hand it off to some other people, people that I've beaten, people that don't deserve anything. Did you, did you expect me to work for you? Kiss my ass. Well, I thought he hung up. I thought he did, too, because I thought he wasn't going to take any more. This is crap. We understand that this is not a popular decision, but it's what has to be done. Imagine if Chris Caden was sitting in the number one spot and he's on a suspension. What are we going to do? Have Chris, uh, the great Bambino no, sit I, and wait show yeah, after show? Yeah, definitely. The, you, know the, what I'd love, you know what I'd love? I'd love for you to ask everyone in the back what they really feel, how they really feel. It's about not what they feel. It's what management feels. Uh, you know feels. what? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe you should start listening to what the workers want. Not what it's you not what they want. It, it's, Chris, it's, it's not what we want. It's their ass for you every other time in that friggin' ring. And what do you do? You just make ideas. You make all oh, this and let's do that and let's do this. Chris, earlier, Chris, you said that the crowd turned on you. And uh, I, I, 
I will take this. I will take this as take this as what I'm saying. Nothing else. The crowd didn't turn on you. The crowd is for CJ. It's not what we want. It's not what the workers want. We try to do what's in the best interest in those people who are buying a ticket to come to the event. You know, and the people want to see new title matches. So that's what we're gonna do. Listen, man, you just got to deal with it. That's all, bro. We want you back in. We want to see you, you do don't good. Want me back in. Yes, we do. You don't want me back in. That's the last thing you want. No, because I honestly, due to the fact of me and Jerry sitting down and talking, I wanted to put you in a longer suspension. Jerry talked me out of it, and I looked at the other side of everything. Before I came into SWA, you were the face of SWA. And let me tell you something. We want you to go back to that. Chris, you're a hell of a competitor. You know, you said you were undefeated, and you were. You faced everybody, and you battled those shoulder injuries. And the SWA crowd will forever be indebted to you, and so will the company. But that doesn't give you special privileges. That doesn't allow you to do the things you're doing. No one can decide when their day off is. Um, so you, you, you had to be there, and you put yourself in this situation, Chris, and I'm sorry. You know, yeah. a, a, sorry. You, we, we'll sit down, and we'll talk when this suspension's up, and we'll see if uh, Chris Caden continues yes, on. Yes, we would like him to come back. And We'd Chris, like him to be there, just not take, the next show. Take this time to just enjoy what you have right now, and we hope to see you back in the SWA ring. Thank you, Chris, for coming on tonight. Like what I have now? Man, I just want to pop you in the mouth. You know what I mean? All right, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to cut him. All right, cut, Sean, Sean, I'm sorry, Chris. Sean's gonna cut you. You can't, you can't make threats, Chris. We're, I'm trying to avoid a longer suspension. Thank you for calling in, everybody. Chris Caden. Wow. I don't know what happened, okay. but you know what? He, he took got, that better than I thought he would. You know what? He got <laughs> nasty in the beginning, and then all of, you know at the end, it it just I don't know. But I, I was. I think I was doing the right thing by yeah. our meeting earlier, sitting down, and you telling me that we shouldn't extend it. And, uh, you know, honestly, the footage that I've seen of Chris Caden yeah. at SWA is amazing. Yes. He's, he's and to see him back in our, our ring of SWA would be a great thing. He's a talented man. That's why he made it to the end of those Pride finals. That's why he so, was undefeated for that long. All I got to say is, ladies and gentlemen, be ready to see Chris Caden <laughs> back soon. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. Yes, yeah. because well, he has to. He's an amazing guy. and uh, Get him some Valium or something. Yeah. Let him relax a little Have bit. Have a few beers along with it. He'll be yeah. all right. Yeah, okay. Well, we have, yeah. we have drug dealers in the studio. Great. He just ran up the wall and jumped just on the ceiling. Lovely. I think we need to take a break. Yeah, this, <laughs> we'll be back from the Auschwitz gas chamber. In about a half an hour. No, uh, we'll yeah. see you guys in about we'll five minutes. We'll be right minutes. back. Yeah. Listen to some. What do we got? All types of things have been broken. See, all those bondages, all those spiritual, spiritual holds that they had to go through. Yeah. All those spirits of the dead had to go
Hey, what's going on? And we're back. All right, we are back. You know, what an interesting little uh, conversation. Yeah, really and, I still uh, think he was yeah. wrong. Well, I think he needs anyway, justice. It, it doesn't matter what you think. It is done. And uh, me I know, and Jerry I, Warner. I'm just a lonely radio show host. Yeah, me and Jerry. But it's okay. We'll, I'll help. We'll, ha- we'll have them. He'll have his moment. Uh, yeah. Next year, Jerry Warner and me sat down and we went over it, and that's the way it is. You know what? We appreciate Chris Caden, but ah, hey, choke on a chicken. You know what? I would rather see him back in the ring instead of blapping his mouth. See him do some action. Plain and simple. I know you want to see him back and all that and blah blah blah. You know, I what? just want to see do him too. get what he deserves. What he deserves, he got a suspension. You want one too? You could sit right that, next to him. I can't be suspended from this. I know. I'm not a Suffolk Wrestling Alliance I know. employee. It's all right. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Um, all I got to say is that uh, we're going to move on from it. And I got to say to Chris, is I appreciate everything he's done. And I'm looking forward for him to come back. That's it. I'm done with that. So. We're moving on tonight. Let's go. That's just bad. No, it's great. No, it's not. Trust me. Justice for Caden. No, it's not, man. Don't don't be going that way, brother. Oh, I, I, I've been that way. It's all right, but you ain't going to get anything out of it. You know what we're going to do? I got a good friend in the studio, and I told everybody last week on Saturday, you got to tune in to the heel in the face. And you know what's pretty darn cool? I got him right here. A part of the undead. You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Vengeance of the of the Undead. What's going on, brother? Your brother is back. Damn right he is. Back with a vengeance, no pun intended. Oh yeah. And you know, before before we go into anything, I have to say this is incredibly comical. You know, Lucas Sane happened to take out my brother with a neck injury and put him out for seven months. And last I heard from the EMTs and the sound of the ambulance, Lucas Sane left with a neck injury by the hands of my brother. Now, that's what I call retribution. That's what mm. I call payback. Mm, that sounds good. Sounds, oh. That sounds great. But man. you know what sounded better than that? Every single one of the ECPW fans jumping <clears throat> to the top of their feet, screaming at the top of their lungs, Mason, Mason, Mason. Yes, sir. Yeah, it, it was uh, quite an amazing thing when he came out behind that curtain, man. It was, it was like fire, man. It it was amazing. It was like one of those slow motion, uh, slow motion moments you see in a movie. Yes, it was, it was man. surreal. And you know what? I do have to apologize for those fans who asked where my brother was, and I I kind of had a fib to you. Had to kind of tell a little white lie. Me and my sister had to sit there and tell everyone, hey, listen, he's still not good. But that was all part of the game plan. And we appreciate every one of you guys for uh, forgiving us for that little white lie. But it let was, me ask you. It was worth it in the end. Oh, yeah. Let me ask <laughs> you. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I, I thought it was awesome, man. I mean, first we were thinking about getting Juggalo Myers, but then we were like, eh, we could do Coke, too, but we're not going to. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, true. I did. No, you guys are straight edge, man. You're almost like uh, what's his name? That guy. Uh, that that dude who's on that big wrestling company. Yeah, who, who, I can't. Yeah, something yeah, like that. You know, so, um, he wrestled out of Chicago. He was like a Chicago-made like rock star. MC Hammer? Guy. No, that's no, not it. No, no. It was. It was like. It was like. <laughs> it, I, no, oh, no. I, actually, I think I think his name was Marky Mark. No, wait, no, I'm not thinking nah, that. No, man, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I know he got you know, into a big I, fight with like some yeah. big UFC guy or something recently. But, but, that was, but we'll 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 somebody will figure it out for us. Yeah, someday. we'll we'll have somebody call in. You know what I mean? But uh, yo, man, the show was great. You guys were great. Oh yeah, Mason's back, and and you know what? Lucas Sane is out of commission. But I have to say this. Me and Mason, we tore down the house, that's true enough, but we could not have done it without our good friend, Robbie Rebel. Now, ever since oh, Lucas yeah. Sane turned his back on us, we haven't been able to exactly call too many people our friends. But Robbie Rebel was there from us when we needed it most. And I'm going to tell you, Robbie proved his worth a hundred times and a hundred times again. I have... N- I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I haven't really stepped in the ring with too many guys tougher than Robbie Rebel. 
That boy's got speed. Mm-hmm. He's got power. But most of all, he's got brains. He is one of the most intelligent wrestlers I've ever met. And you know what? My hat's off to Mr. Robbie Rebel. Yeah, yeah man. Well, uh, yeah, of yeah, course, top hat. Top off. hat. That's the only way to go with uh, well, Robbie Rebel. I, I don't know. I, you know. You know what? He goes for the top hats. I like my LA fitteds, you know, which my little sister's rocking right now. For those who can't see, rocking my black and blue LA fitted. Yeah, LA fitted. So cool. Yep. There you go, man. Represent. That's right. Rep your hood. Rep your hood. What do you got to say, sausage? You're being very quiet. I'm still a little steamed about the Chris Caden thing. I'm oh, yeah, you know what? Chris, you could really? Sit and dwell really? On we're, go- we're going into Chris Caden again? Come on, man. You could sit look, there. Look, look. You and know what? Soak and dwell and whatever Listen, you want to do. Listen, I don't always that. agree with Tommy C. But when I do. All right, I, all right. I, n- I, n- I never do. I can't even finish it. It's over no, him don't. going to the emergency room about a chicken. What? <laughs> you can't say without a chicken. Wow, Dude's man. got a chicken in one hand, a burger in the other. You kidding me? For real now. I'm pretty sure, like, do you have, like, a shrine to Chris or something? I think he does in the uh, back room oh somewhere. Oh, my God, what was that show? Uh, hey Arnold has, like, all yep. the stuff in the closet. Oh, man, he does. we're going, we're I going think 90s he does. Nickelodeon. To, man, all right. He probably does. But you know what? I, I do have to say this. Chris Caden, phenomenal wrestler. One of the best in the business. You can't take anything away from him. But at the same time, you know, you can't pick and choose your days off. We go out there and we fight. We fight when we're told to fight. We're nothing more than gladiators and warriors. And to go out there and make an excuse for not showing up, I'm sorry, but it seems like that takes away a little yes, bit of stature. Yes, it does, man, definitely. And, uh, you know, hey, that's why he had to be suspended. But we're not here about Chris Caden no, anymore. No, no, we're not. We're here about Zach Vengeance What's going on? and Mason Shadows. Who, unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight. As much as I tried to coerce him into coming... There is nothing on his mind right now but training. Seriously. I mean, I went, into, I went into our gym the other day, and I got screamed at to get out. I told him lunch was ready, and he's a hefty guy, and he kind of threw a weight at me. I, well, you know. yeah, he got ready. He's looking sharp. He's, he was flying around that ring, man. I'm telling you. Like, what was and- great? was actually seeing the big smile on his face that we hadn't seen oh. in months. It was the best feeling, seeing that smile on our brother's face again. Like, I was brought to tears. Like, I know you saw it. Oh, yeah. You know, you know what the best was, was for me? Okay, I, now, I, I travel with Mason everywhere. We're brothers. It's what we do. We travel together. You know, we're on the road 24-7. We're renting the same hotel rooms. All right. We know each other inside and out. But... The fact that he didn't arrive to the show with me kind of threw some, some red flags in my mind. Thought maybe, you know, maybe he's not ready to come back from this just yet. And he proved me wrong because the second he walked through that door, the second he burst open the doors of ECW, rolling with his bag in hand, ready to fight, I knew. I knew that this was a part of my brother I've never seen before. This was a ruthless aggression, a determination, a will to definitely take down Lucas Sane. And I believe we did a <laughs> pretty did. damn good job. I'll imagine if I was a part of it. Well, he's out of commission right now. He's probably sitting in the hospital bed with a neck oh, brace on. Honest, I would love a picture of it. I would love it. Uh, well, Just maybe well, maybe we could eventually try to sneak in there and get a picture of him. Oh, oh, I would love it. You know, catching catching his neck in a cast. You know, on top of that, I heard he also got a, a little injury to his hand. Oh, he got a little boo-boo? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he definitely got a little boo-boo. And you know what's funny? You know what's really funny? I heard some of the fans chanting that Lucas was some type of a cat. Yeah. I don't wow. exactly, I can't exactly say a female what it was. A, a female cat, yes. Okay. He could have also been a female dog. Well, yeah, he was Ooh. that too. Okay. But you know what's funny? <laughs> Lucas saying, I want you to take a listen real quick because I know you're sitting in your hospital bed. I know you've got your apps turned up high, your volume's at its very high. So I know you're hearing every word I say. And I got to ask you, you mad, bro? Oh, are you mad, bro? <laughs> he's, do you, he's, do you, you, know do you have a hatred for the undead yet? Have you managed to dig yourself out from being left six feet under? He, I got to know. You know what he could be doing right now? He's probably scratching at the speaker of his device, whatever it may be. You know, iPod, whatever. Oh, he's just garbage. lucky. He's just lucky that, yeah. that he hasn't heard anything worse. To be honest. Well, you know what? He's 
sitting there in that hospital bed just like listening I, to the heel in the face. Like I said, I would love to see him in the hospital bed. Definitely well, love to we, see him. we could probably get a picture of it some way, somehow, have him. Maybe Zach could sneak in there and get a picture of him. Uh, yeah. Sneak in there. Oh, forget it. Do we happen to remember an old, old event where someone of a certain famous company might have been dressed up as a doctor? Might have had a few socks on hand and maybe a bedpan. I think I'm going to follow in his great footsteps. For real? Huh? Oh, okay. Oh. I right. think I just might. But you know what's funny? You're going to steal a bedpan from the hospital and go home with it? <laughs> no, no. That's I, what he I, said. I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to dress up like a doctor. I'm going to go inside Lucas Sane's room and tell him, it's okay, son. You're going to be fine. And as soon as he hears my voice, I know, I know the shudder. He's going to feel, I know, he's going to try and move, but he can't. No, no, he can't. He can't even turn his neck right. And just when he manages to stretch his body just off to the left, bam. Bedpan to the head, KO, and I'm going to have myself a good time till one of three things happens. Either he's dead, I'm arrested, or I get a job offer at a hospital for being such a smart guy. Is there any way we could throw him out a window or onto a table? Well, well, you know. I mean, come on. I'm their sister. What do you expect? Uh, she's kind of, kind of a nut job, you know. I mean, I was able to kick Lucas Zane's ass in when we were kids. I'm so, right. oh boy. You know, well, Tommy, see, I, I, I gotta know because you were there. You were there. You, you saw everything that went down. Now, you know we weren't just in the ring with, uh, with Lucas Sane. You know, we were in there with really, 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 really big Cronus. Uh, you forgot one more big. Oh. Triple XL yes. Cronus. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure that it was Triple XL? Because I was pretty sure it was more than that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm trying. You know, he looked like he slimmed down. If, he, he looks like he's only downing like six McDonald's a day. And I, I don't mean like burgers. I mean like the whole McDonald's. But, you know. I still felt earthquake every time you walk up. <laughs> oh, my God. I heard all the Japanese people in the crowd were screaming Godzilla. You know what I mean? They were just, oh, Godzilla! Yeah, shit was I bad. Heard, you really had to go racist? Oh, oh forgive me to... for all the people in the audience. Oh, I am shoot. so sorry. Oh, I have all the eyes for my brother. Oh, <laughs> boy. Let me tell you. But all right. This anyway, man. What do you expect? That match was crazy. Just wow. Cronus, I don't know. Wait, who else was out there with well, you boys? You know, I, I, as soon as I could see from Cronus stepping on my face, by the way, I still have the t- taste of fucking bacon grease from the bottom of his boot. We had to see... Bacon grease from the bottom of his boot. Dude, I don't know what he steps in, well, trains in, or eats, but he gets it everywhere. Maybe he trains in, like, a big cheeseburger. Mm. Probably. Yeah, he looks like he sleeps wow. in a big cheeseburger. Then I had to look up and see beautiful, baldy dream. Oh, uh, Bobby dream. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'd say the only advantage he had over me was me being blinded from the shine off his head. <laughs> Exactly. Actually, I actually was blinded from the audience. I, I think the ref should take a look back at that. I think that might be considered a form of cheating to polish your own head. I mean, I heard Bobby's really good at polishing his own head. I mean, he can't really well, blind anybody anyway, else. Um, Which one? The, I mean, the shoulder. Hello, head, shoulders, knees, toes. Okay, head, shoulders, knees, toes. Come on, sis. Come get, on, it's not you that passed kind of high school. You should know this. At least anyway. I went to college. Oh, don't start with me. I was too busy fighting. Go ahead, man. But, you know, we had Bobby, Bobby Dream in the ring. We had Heavy Heavy Cronus and Lucas Sane. I, honestly, how did they think that that was going to work? You had a guy whose ego is as big as Cronus, a guy whose bald spot is as big as Cronus, and a guy with no cardio whose name was Cronus. Cronus. So, wait, wait, wait. Is this all about Cronus? Because I thought this was about... Um, no, this is everybody who compares to Cronus. But anyway, man, it was a good match, and Lucas Sane is in the hospital bed. What a shame. Oh, oh, yes. Let me tell you, my heart goes out for him. And as a matter of fact, it actually does. My heart actually goes out for him. And, and I'd like to take a minute now, everyone to just stop for a second and say a few prayers. 
for uh, for Mr. Lucas Sane. Well, he's not dead. He's in a hospital bed. I, I know, and I want everyone to pray Come for him now. to get better, nice and quick. I want everyone right now say a quick prayer for Lucas Sane. Say, I want you to say. All right. They're done. I want you to say, Lord. Done. I did it twice. No, 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 no. You, you need to say a proper prayer. I mean, you need to be respectful. No, Lord, I, I was. Lord, you we, need to reach down into your soul. That's oh, right. Wait a minute. This is, this is supposed to be a wrestling show. Come on now. Get back to what you were saying. But in all seriousness, I would like to say a prayer for Lucas Sane. Lord, we ask that you uh. please help Lucas Sane recover very quickly. Please hope that everyone, everyone oh, supports Lucas Sane's return back to the ring. And that he is in healthy fighting condition, so that my brother Mason Shadows can go in there and break his neck and do to him again because he deserves it a hundred times over. I'm not a vengeful guy, regardless of the last name. But what he did to my family, I'd like to happen a million times over to the guy. So, yes, you, I pray you, that Lucas yeah, Sane yeah. hurries up and gets better. I would say so, definitely. But uh, <laughs> it does. Who knows? Maybe the storm will come in. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I might feel a storm a coming. I, I, th- I think I, I think that just might happen. You, know, you know what? Know, Speaking of storms, yes, this guy is walking around the studio like he's got a storm in it. I don't know what's wrong with him. I, I don't know. The second I walked in the building, he, he whistled at me, and he, and, 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 and he said, I can't wait to see you. And, I mean, he was cross-eyed, and it was weird. But, oh, I, I mean, I, 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 what, Pedro? Maybe, I, maybe, I, I don't judge. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe it was because he had some of that hot sauce from before. Yeah, I heard that hot sauce does some wicked things. It's all good, man. Don't worry about the hot I, sauce. I don't know about that, because, I mean, Leave right on. now, people can't see, but I, I'm talking through a gas mask right now. Tommy, yep. what? Tommy, you laying down some atomic stuff, son. Hey, guess, hey, man, listen. But anyway, Come that's on because now. he put that hot sauce on Cobb salad. No, I put Ooh. it on. No, um, I think he put it on that White Castle that you're eating right there. Oh, yummy! I see them White Castle burgers. I don't yeah. know if he can handle. He can't handle chicken. I don't know if he can handle these little cheeseburgers. But I want. I want to know what everybody else thinks. I want to know what what anybody anybody happens to think from that match. You know. Well, if anybody wants to call in, you can call in and uh, talk oh, and to Zach second. Vengeance. I mean, we'll, and, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop the show for you. You're important. Yeah, definitely. You know, we'll, we'll sit here all night, you know. Hey, yeah. listen, I ain't got nothing else better to do but get I back do. to L.A. I want to go back to bed. Well, we do have to come back in like a few days. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that, you know. And then, and then, there's, then there's SWA. Oh, Man, I, I almost forgot completely all about SWA and, yep. and, 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 you know, the graveyard concussions. Oh, oh, oh. You, your favorite, you know your favorite tag lately? team. You know what's been happening lately? And I actually told him about this. Menace from, what was it? I, I call them the graveyard concussions. And what was it that you call them? Disciples. You still can't say it, right? <laughs> okay. Menace was actually flirting with me. He was flirting with you? Yes, he was. Now, oh. I, 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 I know my sister. She's not really a chubby chaser. So I, I, I think, Menace, I've got a few words for you. It hit a treadmill, start working out, and stop eating McDonald's all the time. And Oh, you know. no, he could do whatever he wanted to try to slim down. Not going to happen. Oh, oh, that's, that's straight up shut down. Wow. Trust me, wow. he ain't good enough for the storm. Well... Ooh, that's I, 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 um. You you well, need to get into like you know a heating, heating place right now because I'm gonna be honest with you, it's getting a little chilly in here. That you might. I, I need some ice for my drink. Can I chip some off your heart real quick, sis? Yeah. Wow. Right, cool. You oh, already know I'm cold hearted. I always have been. Listen, man. Plain and simple. Let's get to the ring. SWA Graveyard Disciples, <laughs> and that's how I'm gonna say it. Uh huh. But let me tell you, what's the verdict at the end of the match? <laughs> The verdict is going to be just like it was against Lucas Sane. We're going to find some bodies left six feet under. We're going to bury them in their own graveyards. That's We're it. going to put them six feet under. And hell, we'll even give them specialized tombstones with their own mask design so everybody can see the failures that fell to the undead. Everybody thinks, oh, Mason Shadows and Zach Vengeance, it's the undead. No. No, that's not the undead. The undead 
is Mason Shadows, Zach Vengeance, Little Johnny, Little Jimmy, Erica, Susie, Brian, Jake, Mike, Peter. It's Scotty. It's everyone out there who supports the undead army. I actually got to say one thing here. Uh, I actually just peeked at the chat. Oh, you're not supposed to peek at that. Yeah, well, I kind of have a right to because there's a guy named Don Walters <laughs> who is calling you out. Oh, oh, a guy named Don. Let, let's see what Don wrote here. Uh, didn't these guys lose in the six-way getting pinned by Mike Magnum in two seconds? Wow, Don, that's, that's actually funny that you might say that. Um, well, if you remember, I had some flying Italian kid launching off the top rope Kicking me dead in the skull. Now, I would love to see you jump in the ring and do as I do. I would absolutely love to see you jump in the ring, get kicked in the skull by a flying Italian weirdo, then get Mike Magnum to throw you around, and then you tell me how tough you are. You tell me what it's like to step in the ring. What do we got here? What, what, what does he reply? What? He has I nothing mean, to say. I mean, am I wrong? Well, I don't know necessarily if you're wrong. Well, I mean, you're probably wrong you, looking. You, you know what? Honestly, I think we'd be better off if uh, whoa, whoa, Don whoa, Walters that, would like to call fans, in. Okay? Oh, I would love for Don. What's the number to call in here? Sean, go right ahead, man. Uh, the the right fan line on, is the fan line is kind of down at the moment due to technical difficulties. All oh. Right. oh, yeah. Okay. You know what it is? You know what it is? So many people call in when I'm here. It, it's t technical difficulties. I, That's it. It's man. not something Definitely. we can control. You know that there's a technical difficulty every time we come here? Somebody's breaking up mics. Yeah, well. Somebody's breaking mics. Somebody's blowing up the airwaves. Someone, the sound doesn't work. Maybe toxic gas is getting into the electrical equipment. Mr. Tommy C, stop <laughs> choking the hot sauce. <laughs> Seriously. It's getting hey man, the, it's the, the toxicity okay. levels in here are bad. Radiation. There's nothing man. wrong with it. To be Trust honest, me. To be honest, with this match with the Graveyard Disciples, to be honest, I would love to see it in the cage. That would just be a plus for me. Well, huh. people could vote for it. Yes, you they do can. know that. People can vote for it. As a matter of fact, Mr. Don Walters, was it? Why don't you vote for that match? What, what, to be was in it the Don cage? Walters? Yeah, great yeah. name. Your parents must have loved you, kid. <laughs> if you're so keen on seeing Zach Vengeance and Mason Shadows get hurt, why don't you see if your little flame boys, the graveyard disciples, can hurt us in a steel cage? Or are you too cowardice to vote? Are you too much of a coward to show your own guts and vote us to be in there? As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, Don. If we get voted in to the steel cage match, I will personally dedicate this match to you. I will personally dedicate... <laughs> Our win against the graveyard well, concussions, straight to you, Don. Straight to you. To be honest, I, I think that's funny. This whole thing. What I think is pretty funny is how we're known as the undead, right? Yet they're, yes. Yeah, they're graveyard <laughs> disciples. Yeah, and and you know what's funny? Last I checked, the undead were from graveyard, so they're disciples of the graveyard, where we come from. Oh, the graveyard or si disciples are nothing more than undead marks. Let's see. I'm not keen on seeing either of you at all, so no thanks. Wow. Don. Don. Wow. You're not keen on seeing either one of us. Well, that's great because we don't need your, what, $3.02 opinion? Oh, come on, Don. Come on. Really? You, you, wait, wait. He's going to trash talk over the internet. Oh, well, you know Reminds what? Reminds us That's of someone else that we know, Lucas. Yeah. Well, you know what? Hold on one minute. You know what we got? We're gonna do for you, Zach. What's up? Please tell me what you're gonna do. Oh, we're calling. I, I hear a phone ringing. Oh. You, you're calling who? Menace. Menace. Oh. From the GYD to this turn around. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make his dream come true. I'm gonna put him on with my sister first. Hello. What's How going on, Menace? Well, How are you, my well, brother? Well, if it isn't my secret admirer. <laughs> it's not much of a secret if everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't the one sending messages. No, I was. I was pretty sure I was doing that. 
Yeah, but oh flirting, flirting with the opponent's sister. Sorry, sweetheart. You ain't gonna know for the storm. She called me sweetheart. Did you hear that? <laughs> hey, Tommy, real quick, I gotta yeah. this out to you, buddy. You're out of soda. I'm out of soda. Oh, you, oh, you back in my refrigerator again? You let what are you him doing? into your house? I was, I was bored. They let me out, and I decided I'd come and visit you. But then I forgot it's Wednesday. You're talking to the ultra cool, super cool guy, um, 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 Mash um dude. Vengeance. Yeah. And his yeah. sister. Okay. And his storm. And I'm really there is blood all over this chair, dude. What happened to you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, well that, that we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about later. later. Too much hot sauce? We'll talk about that later. Right now, we got Zach Vengeance in the house. Uh, he has a few Big, words. bad menace. One half of the Graveyard Disciples. It's nice to actually be able to talk to you. It, it, it's nice to have you on the line. As a matter of fact, I kind of wish you were here. Because, as I just made it very apparent, menace... If you're a graveyard disciple, and I'm from the undead, doesn't that mean that you're kind of worshiping me? I'm sorry, but last I checked, that makes you a fanboy of Zack Vengeance. Now, that's cute and all, but one, you're not good enough to be a fan of Zack Vengeance. Two, you're not good enough to try and get with my sister. <laughs> and three... You need to lose some weight. Seriously, I mean, stop eating McDonald's. Haven't you ever heard of a wrestler's diet? Mr. Vengeance, Mr. Vengeance, I understand and see where you're coming from, good sir, but see, I have a simple question. Why did yeah. you not come out and man up and call us out face to face? Why did you feel it was necessary for you and your brother, which I am so happy is healthy and back in action? Why did you feel it was necessary to jump us from behind? And cost us the match. Now, sir, I'm not questioning your manhood. How oh, the hell would it? Yes, I am. But, come on, manhood. dude. <laughs> Did you really come just on. my brother, Tommy? I was just saying manhood and you know, limping, that's all. It's funny. Such a <laughs> si simple-minded creature has such a simple question. No, 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 you want the question answered. I'm going to answer it for you, Menace. Let me tell you, it's very simple. Why did we jump you from behind? Why did we attack oh, yeah. you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe to make an impact. To show SWA and the world that there's nobody out there bigger, tougher, or stronger than Mason Shadows and Zack Vengeance. And this is why we've decided to issue this, 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 this voting that we want people to vote. We want them to put you and us in a cage. So there's nowhere you can run. There's no gravestones you can hide behind. There's no graves you can jump in to avoid the unnecessary large amount of pain that we're going to bring to you. There's no way you can weather the storm. There's no way you can handle being put six feet under. But I tell you what, I'm going to give you and your partner, I'm going to give you small town boys a chance to try, to try and take out me and my brother. But I'll tell you one thing. You can ask Lucas Sane. You can ask Bobby Dream. You can ask Kronos. You can ask God himself. You don't stand a chance in hell. There's your well, answer. Well, 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 that's big talk coming from a Muppet. But let me ask you this. You say you beat up Bobby Dream. Didn't Lexi Rose beat up Bobby Dream? I'm not saying anything bad about Lexi Rose, but come on. Come on. The brother, the, the dude just doesn't have it up there. I'm not just talking about his hair. And you mentioned the dude Kronos. What the hell is a Kronos? You mentioned him about cheeseburgers and bacon grease. I will Lexi. actually give him that one. And, and, then, and then you're talking about this dude, Lucas Sane. You put him in the hospital. I, I applaud you, sir. <laughs> because I, I, I think that is a marvelous thing you've done. I will not take anything away from you. Now, this might be the medication talking or the shock treatment because of Mr. Tommy C that we have to undergo because we have to behave ourselves because yes. he can't take the now, Be good now. Be good. But, but I do. Calm down. Relax. I'm fine. All I right. haven't broken any of your stuff this time. All right. Now, Mr. Vengeance, 
What? And your brother, Mr. Shadows. And your sister, Miss Storm. Y'all have three last names that are totally different. I'm not even going to go there. But anyway. <laughs> you guys. All I keep hearing is how you guys kicked our ass. Fans. Real fanboys coming up to us saying, oh, you guys, they kicked your ass. You kicked me in the leg. Now. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I really, like I said, you made that statement. You made an impact. Don't you think, don't you realize, well, we're bad, we're dangerous when we're just playing around. Now you guys are the focus. All we've been thinking about, every time we step in the ring from that show until August, we've been picturing you guys. Don't you think you messed up a little bit? <laughs> Don't, don't you think, don't you think a little bit, Mr. Undead, sir, you stepped into the wrong cemetery a little bit? <laughs> the wrong I find that very, very funny, Menace. You're a real comical guy, but now you've done something you shouldn't have done. You pissed me off. I am here to let you know one time, and one time only. You can bring chains, you can bring chairs, you can bring all the toxic <laughs> gas that you want. You can try as hard as you want. You can fight, you can claw, you can bite, you can scratch, you can cheat if you want to, but it's not gonna matter. There are no wrong graveyards when it comes to the undead. There are no misplaced amounts of aggression. There are no mistakes made. We knew what we were doing, and we knew exactly who we were doing it to. And that's exactly why we did it. Because we know, you know, the fans know how easy it's gonna be for us to put you six feet under. So I want you to understand something, Menace. Come August 17th at SWA, at the NYWC Sports Arena, you're not just going to get hurt. You're not just going to suffer. You're going to endure a life-altering, life-altering, I said. Do you understand me when I say this? Life-altering endeavor. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to make you beg, and when you beg, I may be merciful enough to stop, but I highly doubt it. You think we pissed off the wrong guys? Yeah, we may have pissed off two near 400 pounders, but you pissed off the undead army. Get it through your head. August 17th. Yes, I heard about dead. the undead army. You got a Susie Q, a Debbie Q, a Twinkie, you got all them fun people. But young men, Young men, young Mr. Zack Benjamin. What are you, part of the village people now? Now, I'm speaking to you, warrior to warrior, man to man, dark sider to dark sider, if you will. Ain't gonna be no army, it's gonna be us. Now, I've prepared myself for all this pain you're talking about. I've prepared myself for the suffering you say you're, you're bringing to me. And it sounds like a real good time. Now, Mr. Vengeance, I'm going to ask you an honest question. Have you prepared yourself? Has your brother prepared himself? Because I can guarantee one thing. World Games is actually named properly. Because people like us, not just me and Mayhem, but you and your brother, War is fun. Now, have you prepared yourselves for what's coming? Have you, Mr. Ventures? <laughs> have you really? <laughs> See, his medication's wearing off now. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, Menace. Mr. Tommy! <laughs> I hear you, man. Hey, relax now. Relax. Don't break anything over there, you know? It's funny, Menace. It's real funny. You're right. What we have here is a war. What we have here, Menace, is a war. And you're right. I think you enjoy it just as much as us. So it's going to be real interesting. Have we prepared ourselves? You can ask Lucas Sane if we prepared ourselves. Are we ready 
Go ahead. Ask over 400 pounds of Kronos, who's now crying his bald little head off, if we're ready. Go ahead. Mock me, if you will. But we'll see at War Games who gets a last laugh. And if you're not rolling with us, then I promise you, the Graveyard Disciples are going to be left six feet under. Well... Menace, you have anything else to say, man, or what, you know, to this? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 Mr. Tommy, see? You see, I've heard what this man has said. And believe me, I like what I hear. <laughs> now, Mr. Tommy, I now, do we really still have to go along with this public apology thing? Uh, yes, you do, and, um, and yes. Yeah, well, that's no, no, how it no, has to... Mr. Tommy, see, you, you did promise them. You did, at ringside. Right? Yes, for the GYD and the Undead match, I will be the enforcer at the ringside, whether it's in the cage or not. I will be at the ringside. Now, what I have to say, I've been very polite in talking to this young man. <laughs> but... Mr. Vengeance, I beg of you, sir, to please, please, please bring the A game. And as for you, Miss Storm, Miss Storm, are you there still? Are you there? 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 Yes. There? Yes. Will you also be present at the show? Of, of course I am. Well, of course she is. Now, yeah, because I have to be there. I have to be there to watch my brothers take you down. Take me down. All right, man. Relax, man. This is really starting to sound like a body. <laughs> what did you want to say? I just wanted to say hello, and I will hope to see you, and I'm glad I'll be seeing you. At the next show. <laughs> all right. And, 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 and I'm saying this nicely and with all due respect, and I'm not going to be mean or a jerk because I'm not going to cost people matches. Uh, and I will be, I know you'll have a good time watching the match. And I will apologize now for what I'm going to do to your brothers because that's what a nice guy I am. And then I'm going to apologize because, uh, oh, Mr. Vengeance, <laughs> my good friend, <laughs> you, we're going to dance that night. All right. <laughs> Since when did this turn into a dance party? Oh, it's going to be a fun dance party. <laughs> yeah, my uh, brothers will be dancing on your graves. Wow. Ooh, holy nice. cow. Well, all oh. I got to say is the Boltius, Zach, and uh, Menace, let me tell you something, man. The Boltius got to relax because August 17th, you'll get the chance to be in the ring. Hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, in a cage. Mr. Tommy, I am totally relaxing in your recliner as we speak. Uh, I know, I, I could tell. You. you seem I very do. relaxed. This is fantastic, and I'm really sorry about the back door. Or the front door, or that window. But menace, that window. Menace, Menace. Yes. You're sitting in his recliner, right? Yes. Did you move the dirty underwear off of the seat? No, that's Dude, no, that's your I'm house. Gonna say this, I'm gonna say this to you, as a person of who I am. I have seen some horrors in my life, but Mr. Tommy C, you really need to clean up in here. <laughs> You got a vibrating thing in your top drawer. I don't know why you have that, sir. Whatever you're into, that's your own personal business. But that's uh huh. All right. Well, you know what? <laughs> I have. I hear an ambulance. Actually, I called them for you. I think it's time for you to get off the phone and go and meet them outside, like you should. Okay, I'll go back to my room. <laughs> don't forget to don't forget to lock the door. You broke getting in. Okay. I did not break the door. It was only broken when I got here. What? Well, whoever did it, one of you guys should <laughs> sit Sean, down. Sean, really fast, I did do really, really quick, really quick. Did you tell Zach what you said about his sister? 
What did I say about Zach's sister? I would love to hear this. Dude, now you I, I was being nice. This guy, that big hub of He's a So Mr. Shield. That boy. He's wow. like 30. All right. <laughs> You've got to go and go back into your room and lock the door. Yes. I hope to see you guys soon in the violent day of August 17th. All right. Go back to your room now and be good. I swear. All right? Goodbye. Oh, man. he. Uh, I don't know how he got out. but What you know, was it Zach, you said about me, Mr. Heal? I don't know what he's talking about. Well, uh, Zach, I don't know how he... Uh, I, I have no idea what he's talking about. The, the, these guys... He's starting to sweat. Well, I don't know. It's hot in here. Well, I don't know what he did, how he got out of his room, but I do apologize, man, for him calling in, interrupting your interview time. But uh, I don't know. You know what, Tommy? You don't have to apologize. I'm glad he called in. I'm glad because now everyone knows what to expect when they go to war games. Everybody knows what kind of a hellacious death match is going to go on. And I'm begging you, every one of you out there, I'm begging every one of you, vote. Vote for the undead versus the graveyard disciples. Vote for us to be in a steel cage because I want to not only rip those stupid masks off, but I want to make their faces completely unrecognizable with blood. All right. Well, you know what? Come August 17th, you will have that opportunity at War Games, SWA Presents. At the NYWC Sportatorium, man, if they don't have their tickets, they better get them now because the undead is taking GYD down, and that is... <laughs> that's something that's definitely going to happen. If you're not down with that, then you're going to be left six feet under. And yes, I'm talking to every one of you guys typing on the page. Six feet under, six feet under... Six king feet under. Everybody is getting in an uproar of this match, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to see this match be in a cage, you know what? You should go to the polls and vote. Hold on, wait, wait. wait. Yes. I, I got to say this one more time. Um, it's actually now going to be six feet under. There, 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 there's number six for you. There you go. There's wow. number six under that trolls. There it is. Do me a favor. Get out of your mom's basement. Wash your nasty Tommy Co. underwear. Hey, Take man, a shower, lose 150 pounds, get a date, and then you'll have the right to insult someone who looks as good as me. Uh, oh, wow, man. The rest man. of the family. Well, right, anyway. Well, yeah. Well, you, you know what? Mason's got that kind of whole Taco Bell addiction thing. Well, yeah. You know, I, I've heard about that. But you know what? Underneath, underneath that stomach, Tommy, there's muscle. Yeah, there is. That's what that's what always happens, but uh, what we're gonna have to say, man, right now. It, wow, man, look at this. He's playing ninja over here. <laughs> Having way too much fun here. He's that. He's that tense right now. All right. When he well, gets tense, he goes ninja. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn around and we're gonna call it a, a flying hat. What the <laughs> heck is going on? Holy cow, it's mayhem here. Anyway. Uh, no, he is not cute. Just put that out there. Oh, all right. Anyway, Sean. I think we need to take a break. I think so, too. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break. Zach, we'll catch you later, man. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back.
I'm here And I'm here Long for the ride And I see And we're back. Yes, we are, man. And uh, let me tell you, the show got crazy. Um, Is that what you're calling it? Listen, yes, it was. With Zach, GYD calling up, and uh, he's in my house. What the hell is, are those guys doing in my house? How, how did they get a key? It's more important. No, they didn't even get a key. They said they... they how do they know your address? It. Well... I it, suppose it, we're going to go blaming everybody under the sun for that. Yes, I am. But uh, it, it got crazy, man. The show definitely did get crazy. And uh, we appreciate Zach Benjamin's coming down and uh, chilling out. Maybe it, was that, maybe it was that Evan Rain's character who gave me your address. I don't know. Maybe. He knows where I live, you know. 
I don't know. I got to see where he is. Yeah, see, he's not even here. Now, where did he go? See, he's probably with him wrecking my damn house. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Yeah, I know. I know everybody's involved. Yeah, you're probably involved in it, man. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, and they're taking your underwear, bringing them to my house, saying they're mine. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's any mistake with that. Yeah, uh uh-huh. Your underwear is clearly bigger than mine. My house is very clean, very neat. I don't have my shit laying around. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe not shit, but socks and underwear. No, no, no. I don't. But, uh... Apparently, what's ever in the top drawer of your nightstand, I don't know. We won't talk about that. None of that stuff. No, it doesn't go... No, sorry. No. None of that kinky stuff. But uh, we've got something pretty cool going on. And I think it's about What do we time. got going on? SWA show, August 17th. I don't understand. He's standing there like a rag doll. Look at him. I don't sure? see any memos. Uh, well, <laughs> the whole thing, all I have to say is with the chocolates that we were talking about and stuff oh, like that. Oh, the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you ding dong. Wake up. Come on. Go right ahead. You're the one that came up with this idea, and I thought it no, was No, no, no. The, the Wizards in marketing came up with this idea. Oh, I thought you said you did. No, no, no. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Well, we're giving 100 chocolate microphones to the first 100 people who walk into war games. Not wrestlers. And with that, the green room sighs. The, all the managers that are in the green room, they're kind of cheering, though. Not workers. Not management. Fans. Sorry. And for once, Tommy C. just became the most hated person in the room. Yes. I, I, hey, I have to do it because this is what we're doing. The heel and the face are giving out microphones that are chocolates to the first hundred fans to, like, fans. Don't you look at me. All of you guys are looking at me. It's fans, not wrestlers, not managers, not promoters. Fans. I'm looking at the green room right now, and if looks could kill, you'd be so dead they'd have to bury you twice. Well, that's okay. And also, we're going to be having solid 3D chocolate microphones. Four That'll, of them. Four of them. That we're going to raffle off. We're going to raffle the them off. So when we do raffle them off, you'll be getting one. And um, I, I believe we're going to do all four at the show. Very special microphones. Yep. Yeah, all four of them. <laughs> so, you know I'm what? telling you, if looks can kill, you'd be six feet under twice. Yes, I would. And also comes inside, you'll be getting one of the cards, a business card. And on, you know what we're going to do? We sign the back of the card. You're going to sign the back of the card? Yeah. You no, just diminish the value out. of the card. Yeah, all right, man. On the back of the card, Sean will sign one. I will sign one. If you get that, you also get a free autograph from the Heel in the Face radio show table. Really? Really. That's what you got for them? Really. Wow, people are throwing pennies. And you know what? And you know what you'll get? You'll get a free Matt Hardy autograph. Wow. (laughs) The green room's buzzing. Well, and also, because we're going to have two people coming up. You're going to get a Matt Hardy, one person. And the other person will get a Tommy Dreamer. Wow. Oh, wow. I think that's wow. a great deal. Wow. So yes, wow. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, August 17th, the heel in the face will be live at the NYWC Sportatorium, where SWA presents War Games. So, if you want to get tickets, you could get them here at Omega Storage, 185 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, New York. Or catch one of the wrestlers and get a ticket from them because they're going crazy. Front row is almost sold out. And uh, do we have any other stuff going on? Yeah. 
Well, we might have some stuff coming next in week. up our sleeves. Next week, there's going to be an announcement about yeah. our very special quote unquote birthday celebration. And that's going to be for the end of the month. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep your devices tuned in to the Heel in the Face. Don't forget to catch us on iTunes, Breaker, Stitcher Radio, everything. We're everywhere. I feel like giving something away right now. You know what? I had this situation with Chris Caden. You know what? I really did have this situation with him. And I'm going to give away. Not no, more. no, no. You're not yes. going to do that. No. Yes, I am. No. First, you're going to screw the man. Then you're going to try to give away something with his name on it. You know what? Because Wayne, I honestly. Wayne and Rum sold in the wound. Wayne and Rum sold in the wound. <laughs> hey, man. Listen. You got I'm him not... on the phone. You're announcing the SWA top five, which he isn't a part of. Screwed. Listen. That's not. You know what? I know. I feel I know. like giving something away right now. And not that. You pick your thing. I'm going to pick my thing. And mine is, I'm going to give away Nobody one. Nobody wants your thing. I'm going to give. <laughs> I'm going to give away one. <laughs> one Chris Caden t-shirt. That's like rubbing. So- why, don't, why don't you just go and throw a banana cream pie in his face? Drive all the way to where he lives and just do it. I could do that, but it's a waste of my time. What do you want to give away? Go ahead. You're giving away. How are you giving away this, Chris Katie? You know t-shirt? what? If I don't get anything right now, that night, August seventeenth at War Games, I'll take the shirts and throw them out to the crowd. You're just bad. I know. This is so messed me? up. Don't you? <laughs> Nobody hearts Tommy C. <laughs> I know, right? Wow, man. That sucks. Your it's all still good, worth man. three cents. Wait. It doesn't matter. I'm not even yep, the heel. I'm cents. the face, and you're the heel. But go ahead. What are you giving away? You know, at ECPW on Saturday. Okay. We had a. <clears throat> we, we had a. We we visited Robbie Rebel's merchandise table. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. And we got Robbie to sign one of his new Robbie Rebel coffee mugs. That he was graciously. To uh, give to us, and uh, let me tell you, I guess that's what we're giving away now. So this is what we're going to do right now. For everybody who's listening, jump on Twitter, at Heel and Face. Okay? And, and in 120 words or less, explain to us why you would want this signed Robbie Rebel mug. And use the hashtag, give me my damn mug. And we're going to pick one person at random to receive this signed mug by, this signed mug by Robbie Rebel. And we're going to stuff it with a heel in the face chocolate. And we're going to shove it with two free tickets to ECPW's October show. Courtesy of the heel in the face. I know. Yes. I know. Dozens of people are lining up for this. Dozens. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. As I, the Twitter I, now yeah. is blowing up. No, hell, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But, uh... <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, you know what? It's been a long day, a long night, and we appreciate every. Okay, well, I'm Don, being waved. Don who's, Don, who's listening to the show, says yeah. he's a mark for you. Oh, all right. All right, well, what go right ahead. What question does he want to answer? He says he loves to see, well, he loves to see Magnum run the tournament. All right, well, um, how would I feel about him, about that whole thing? <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> I would actually like to see that. Now, honestly, that's a, that's a good thing. Um. Um, well, you know what? I'll uh, jot that down, and uh, I'll take it to the rest of the. I don't see you jotting it down. Yes, I did. Don't worry about it. Where are you jotting it down? It's inside my head. I will turn around and go to the rest of the SWA officials and uh, let them know exactly what your request. Well, what you think that should be done, Don? And um, we do appreciate that question because at SWA, we're all about the fans. What what are you humming about? What are you humming? Oh well, what do you look confused humming? about? 
I mean, what do you look confused about? What's the matter? I don't know. What, did you hit your head on something? I'm fine. I guess. Uh huh. People are looking at me funny. Anyway, <laughs> I think we should. Uh, there is this. Uh, yeah, definitely. There is this confident man who is uh, making facial gestures at me. And for once, he isn't you. No, it's not. But, um. All right. Well, I answered that question. Don't we have one more guest in the studio? Uh, Who wanted to come on to talk about something? uh, Well, we have, uh. Oh, wait a minute. That. uh, He came back? That. 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 Oh, okay. Well. Oh, apparently, apparently we apparently, apparently his manager, apparently Zach Vengeance's segment took too long. Yep, and his uh, well, and uh, now they now they they have no time to stay, and they want to come back next week. Well, that's cool. Yeah. We'll wait to announce it. Well, the person will be back next week, and you know what? If you want to know who it is, well, <laughs> if you want to know who it is, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to tune in next week to check and out and find out who it is. So you know what? From me and Sean, have a good night. Don't forget at Heel and Face, why you want yeah. why you want to drink out of Rebel's head, and uh, hashtag give me my damn mug. Yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next weekend. It's a mug with his picture right. on it. Anyway, oh boy. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next weekend, and don't forget. Worship the ring. We're out.